this is a new order. They should be uh, orange sunkiss shrimp from uh, the Nisi store in Fullerton, California. And uh, they go by Swimming Creatures on Amazon. And that's where I got this. I do this without laying my knee open. And I've also seen them on Instagram. Let me get the trash can over here because they pack this with rock wool. They're well packed. There's no doubt about it. Nothing's moving around inside these packets. Packing label, 10% off. God, I wish I would have known that on the last order. Follow us on Instagram and receive 10% off. And I do, and I don't think I did. So, swimming creatures. I'm gonna watch this stuff. It's better than styrofoam, I suppose. I guess when it's all said and done, I could just take it and throw it up in our attic. That's what we have up there, rock wool. It's a great insulator. <laughs> Dusty. Okay, let me get this out. It's in a one of these foil insulated bags. Here we go. Let me get a pair of scissors. Now I'm gonna stand this thing up over here against this tank and try and just very carefully cut it open along the, the top. Okay, now out come the bags. Hang on here, we're gonna see if we can prop the camera up on the edge of the aquarium. Pull this out. And there they are. All right, so I'm gonna cut this. Well, I guess this bag I can open, it's just a simple knot. I think the other one I ended up having to cut open. I just got some blue dreams from them last week. There we go. Now, I'm gonna put these guys in this bucket, this bucket down here. Um, let me set the phone down because I don't know how I'm gonna do this without. Yeah, all right, we're setting the phone down. go. Yep. Free. This one's got a really tight knot in it. So I'm just going to cut that knot right off the top here. There we go. And I'm gonna pour these guys gently in the bucket here. Just let them all out. Oh, they... There we go. Come on. Check the bag. No little casts or stowaways. And let's see what we got that green packing stuff. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, it looks like there's probably close to 15 or so.
There we go. <clears throat> let's see, let's try and count that again. So there's, uh, yeah, all right, everybody stop. Um, three, four, five, and four is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, nice. So I'm gonna put them in this tank with these guppies. And I'm gonna do what I did last time. I've got this little apparatus that I built, uh, a couple suction cups and a little valve on some quarter inch uh, air tubing. So I shall put one end into the tank like that. And that goes there. So that's stuck on that. And then I'll move this in. Get a siphon started. And I'm going to turn it down to a slower drip. All right, well, the timer for the barbecue just went off and it killed the video. Uh, so I've got the, uh, this drip going and it's just down to a drip. I think we can see that. And there are recap. I don't know where it got cut off. There's 15 in here. Uh, they're going to go in this tank. So, and these are uh, orange sun kissed. And they look good. So far, they look good. So, we'll let that drip acclimate. Um, and probably after dinner. Should be, I don't know, it's not going to overfill. Shouldn't be. So, I'll keep an eye on it. And then I'll put them in. And they will have little guppy buddies. There's. Uh, some mutt guppies that a friend of mine, uh, Jorge, Mexicali fish keeper, gave me these. And uh, someday there will be more than four guppies because that's what they do. So this tank's going to be full of shrimp, full of guppies. All right, thanks for stopping in.